In this video, I'm going to show you how I fixed this. And we're going to do it right now. I installed this door during the demolition phase of this remodel to keep the dust down. And when I went to do the drywall, I took the trim off of the door. And when I took the trim off of the door, I broke it. So now I have a couple options. I could take that piece that broke off and glue it back into place and do some work to make it look nice, but I lost that piece. So that is not an option anymore. I could also remove this piece of trim and just put a whole new piece of trim in here and that's totally fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Bondo wood filler. This video is not sponsored by Bondo, but this stuff is awesome. Now this can is probably about to double the price of a new piece of trim, but I'm not just going to use this for this repair. I have a bunch of other stuff around my house that I can use this for. And I wanted to make a video to show you that you could do this yourself. Say you have a dog or a cat that marked up your trim. Maybe you were moving some furniture around and you dented a piece of trim or any kind of wood. Maybe you broke a piece off like this. I'm going to show you how to fix it in this video. Step one, I'm going to tape this off, tape off the floor to protect it. I'm going to try and slide it under there just a little bit. And right under there. And let's do another one just in case. Now you want to try and get off any loose material. The Bondo will best adhere to bare wood, so in here is good. I'm gonna take some 80 grit sandpaper and just sand this a little bit. This might be a little tricky since it's so close to the floor, but I wanted this piece on there so that I could shape it properly. You don't have to get all of the paint and primer off of there. I did my best here with what I had. You want it to be pretty rough and scraped up, kind of like this, so that the Bondo has something to stick to. And you want to find something to mix on. I'm going to use this piece of plywood. You can use a piece of cardboard. But one thing I've learned along the way from multiple people, you want to use plastic. You want a non-porous surface so plastic over this wood or cardboard so that the bondo doesn't start to soak into whatever you're using and give you an uneven mix or dry it out quicker so use a piece of plastic over whatever you're going to be using look at that like it was made for it i would recommend using some gloves now we can open this up this is the hardener and let's take a look at the can just real quick, just so you know. It is paintable, stainable, permanent, non-shrinking. Like I said, not sponsored by Bondo, but it's great stuff. And I used to use the automotive stuff for wood repairs all the time. And then they came out with this and it made me a happy boy. Let's open it up. Once you mix this stuff, you have about three to five minutes working time. So you're gonna wanna have an idea of what you're doing before you start mixing it. You might want to open a window because it does stink. I'm going to take a glob of this. I do not need much at all. That is probably more than I need. Cap this. And then I'm going to use a plastic putty knife. You don't need to worry about this hardening up on you until you add the hardener. So for the ratio of hardener, the actual instructions say take out a three inch circle by half inch thick of Bondo, and then you add a three inch strip of the hardener. So if you had a circle like this, you would add one strip like this. I have probably about half that, so I'm just gonna add maybe a strip just like that. And then I'm gonna mix it up real good. Something like that. Get to mixing. And what helps with this is if you have another knife to 
help you work with it. There we go. All right, let's put it to work quickly. All right, now I'm just gonna fill this in and then try and match that profile as best I can afterwards. I'm gonna put it in here so that there is too much, basically, and then I can shape it afterwards. And there's no two ways around it. You're gonna make a mess. Now that is definitely overfilled on purpose. I'm gonna let it harden just a little bit, and I'm just gonna keep checking this and that's starting to harden already. So it, it tends to be easier to work with and, and you can shape it a little bit once it's hardened a little bit. I'm gonna try and clean up where I don't need it. I'm right in this profile here. So there's my first coat. Obviously it looks like trash, but you wanna get it close to the shape that you want it. And you can see that corner I left lots on there because I'm gonna be sanding it and shaping it afterwards. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. It's still not cured all the way, but that'll make it easier to shape and to get all this excess Bondo out of the way. So I'm just gonna take a chisel and be very careful and just scrape this and try and get the shape of this trim. I'm not going to sand it yet. I'm going to do another coat. To clean the knives to get ready for another coat, all you got to do is bend them like that, and this stuff comes right off. Round two. And the more hardener you add to this, the quicker it will cure. Oh boy, that ratio is not so good. But I got to do it quickly. And I'm going to do a really thin coat right over that. Something you want to keep in mind if you accidentally mix in too much hardener like I just did, if you're painting it and you think you can work with it fast enough, it's totally fine to use. But if you're going to be staining it, you might want to start over because as you can see, instead of a natural wood color, it turns this greenish color and that could affect the way the stain makes it look in comparison to the natural wood color. And there's round two. Way too much hardener. Let's see right here, I tried to put a square edge here and then I'll sand it down. But that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. It's hard not to make a mess. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just carefully shape it the way I want it to look and match this profile. Then I can sand it. I'm gonna use 120, 120 grit. You could even use 220 to finish it off if you wanted to. After sanding, you can see there's still some imperfections. You can definitely do another coat and sand if you wanted to, but I think this is gonna work for me. I still have to do all the other trims, so I'm really not ready to paint in here, but I wanted to just throw some paint and primer on here to show you the results. And it looks a little something like this. From back here, you're never gonna be able to tell. If you get up close, I think it looks way better. I'm happy with it. I hope this video helped you out. Again, not sponsored by Bondo, but I really like this stuff. If you want to see more videos like this, you can click Hearish and Hearish and check those out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.